What's going on everybody? This is Shazzy from Boom of Clans and Gaming with Shazzy. So again, sorry for such a poor microphone quality because I just get, got my display recorder and I record my sound on with the display recorder and then something messed up with the sound and I just couldn't couldn't like switch it to the uh, to my PC but what I have very let me quickly sync with the video so I'm gonna teach you a I'm gonna show you a pretty neat strategy called hookah. It's basically a mix of zookas and heavies and it's a pretty cool strategy and uh, so maybe I won't be really synced with the video but I'll try to do, do my best. So how you can see I have five land crafts here and out of those five two are filled with heavies so two, two sets of heavies each having three heavies and three sets of zookas and my one land craft the, the the bottom one is level 9 all the rest are level 8 and what I recommend you is to have the proportion size the proportion sets of zookas and heavies so for instance if I had a, an additional land craft I put their zookas, the heavies, so I have like three sets of heavies, three sets of zookas. Uh, those heavies are pretty, pretty important because they take like all the damage and they make zookas, give zookas possibility to attack and to destroy. So basically, I really, really can't remember what I talked about in here. Maybe I just bragged about that. I just, I don't know what I did. And yeah, but it, it's pretty cool strategy. Uh, the nickname is Huka, which is so awesome, and yeah, so the whole point of strategy is to give heavies the first go, so they go, take all the bombs and all the damage, while Zookas are in the back and destroying. So Huka shows you on one NPC base, and then on a real player, so basically this is, I mean, oh, this, this, you can use warriors, or or Hookahs here, but what I'll do is I'll put heavies first and once I deploy heavies I'll put Zookas behind. What I'll do is I'll throw a shot bomb on these four so uh, Rock Hunter and Ken can do can't do any damage. I'll throw another one. As you can see heavies are if there's any damage to take, heavies are the one that are going to take it while Zookas only destroy all the and the links and the headquarters so this is this is pretty pretty easy to destroy and then throw another shot off on this motor just to be just to be sure and yeah I just got like one heavy destroyed and yeah so this base uh, this NPC base is down and I'll just quickly go and build and do my signature move which is like and just throw a lot of which I failed here so I throw a lot of of the uh, layers, I just build one heavy and I'll I'll hit to a real player. So you know, uh, I like to scout every time for attacking. So I just don't like like pe when people go and attack and go and bosses. I mean, if you if you have like if you know what you're doing, okay, go and attack. But I just like to scout to see which level are you doing. Cause yeah. So basically, what the biggest like threat to my heavies and my strategy are cannons. So I'll try to take care of all the cannons. Unfortunately, I can t toss only, throw only four of uh, artilleries, which kind of sucks because the level six, the level level six and above cannons need three of three artilleries of my level uh, to destroy. But I throw a true and how you can see, I forgot to say that, I threw heavies and then at the side, a bit left, I threw all my zookas. You can go back and see once to, to, to the part when I deployed them, I forgot to say that at that moment. Because heavies are going to go front line on the defense buildings while zookas going to go a bit, a bit to the side and take care of everything. So I was throwing a lot of shot bombs and uh, yeah, so just throwing shot bombs and uh, and health packages and letting Zookas do all the things. So basically, I lost all my heavies 
But another good thing about the strategy is that, uh, is that once your heavies are dead, most likely, and in like the, the fours you can not the river size, uh, what's good is that most heavies, when they die, you take all the defense buildings down and give Zookas enough space because they are like uh, long rangers, they destroy on the long range and a lot of the defensive, defensive buildings that are left can't do any damage to them. But that will be that to wrap this video up. I'll see you all next time guys, this is Shadi with Boom Off Class and see you next time, peace Boom Off.